Hi children good morning welcome to today's story time today i am going to tell you the fictional story of pinocchio pinocchio was written by carlo calladi pinocchio is a fictional character and the protagonist of the children's novel the story began with an old wood carver geppetto who carved a puppet and named it pinocchio but the doll was not well behaved he would take off as wig run around the house etc the old geppetto threatened him on the street and grabbed his nose that was growing uncontrollably and because of that geppetto ended up in prison he was accused of mistreating a child at home pinocchio stumbled upon a talking cricket who tried to explain to him that he should treat geppetto better Pinocchio would not listen to him and he smashed him with a hammer. Pinocchio was starving and realized that the cricket was telling the truth. He had to eat something but without Geppetto he did not know what to do. He found an egg but when he cracked it open a little chicken came out of it and ran out of the house. He was desperate and went to the street in search of food. instead of food he got a splash of water he returned home and tried to get dry next to the fireplace but his wooden legs caught fire and turned into ashes in the morning geppetto knocked on the door and pinocchio tried to open the door but could not since he had no legs geppetto got into the house through a window and gave the starved boy some pears He ate them all and left none for Geppetto. He promised to be well behaved from now on. Geppetto made new legs for him and sold some of his stuff to get Pinocchio into school. The boy realized then that Geppetto was like a father for him and that he was good. Even though he had bad behavior, Pinocchio had a good heart and his nobility finally got out in the open. On his way to school he was thinking how to earn money and help Geppetto but he got into troubles again he sold his book and bought a ticket to see a puppet show the puppets were amazed to see their puppet brother but they mean master mangio fioco got a hold on pinocchio and decided to throw him into the fire so he could make dinner The boy started to cry and call his father but he was now here to be seen the mean magnifico had mercy upon him but then decided to throw his friend into the fire to save him pinocchio says that he should end up in the fire mangia fioco had a change of heart and decided to keep both puppets alive he was not so mean after all and he gave some money to the boy so he could give it to his father the nay boy stumbled upon the cat and a fox they convinced him in the existence of a magical land where you can plant money the boy goes to the fox and the cat into a bar where they eat a lot he fell asleep excited about the magical land the barman woke him up around midnight and told him that he should pay for everything that his friends ate because they left pinocchio was left with some money and he talked to the cricket again he tried to explain to him that he should not believe people who promised to make him rich overnight he ignored him again pinocchio thought that he was very strong and he got attacked by two robbers he bit one of the robber's hand and it turned out to be a cat's paw He started to run and when he was about to give up he saw a little white house and starts knocking a girl opened up and told him that everyone was dead including her the robbers caught him and hung him on a tree a beautiful girl was the fairy with the turquoise hair who called her falcon to get the boy off of the tree She called the owl and the cricket as doctors to heal the boy. The cricket told everyone that Pinocchio was a spoiled lazy brat who would make the old Geppetto very sad. Pinocchio's conscience woke up and he started to cry. The fairy wanted to help him. 
so she gave him medicine but pinake wants the sweet medicine and says no to the bitter one great diggers came for him with a coffin four bunnies and when he got scared he drank the medicine and the fairy started talking about the burglars pinake was lying and his nose got bigger and bigger he felt ashamed about that and the fairy left him with his thoughts for a little while in the end he called a woodpecker to get his nose back to his regular size the fairy told him that she called gepato and that he was on his way the boy was waiting for him and stumbled upon the cat and the fox again and trusted them again he ended up in a town with them where cheated naive idiots lived pinocchio did not understand what was going on and he was grateful to the fox and cat for bringing him there pinocchio met a parrot that told him that money does not grow on trees the parrot told him that the cat and the fox dug up his money and ran away pinocchio went to the police but ended up in jail because the whole city was working differently than the normal world when he finally got out he tried to go back to the house of the fairy he realized that boys who would not take advice from anyone ended up badly so he decided to become the best student but gets into trouble again the lazy kids convince him to go with him into toyland where he does not have to do anything except for play after some time the boys grow donkey ear and turn into donkeys pinocchio was sold to the circus where he broke his leg and with a broken leg he was useless for the circus they tied a rock around his neck and threw him into the sea pinocchio was saved thanks to the fairy who looked after him as if she was his mother he was swimming and he got swallowed by a shark inside the shark he found gepato and a tuna fish with the help of the tuna fish he carries his father out of the shark because he was sleeping with his mouth wide open when he came to the shore he stumbled upon the cat and the fox again but they could not trick him again in the village he learned how to work and earn money so he helped gepato a lot when he heard that fairy did not have any money he worked long hours so he could give her some money she rewarded him and turned him into a real flesh and blood boy and healed gepato gepato explained to him that everything happened thanks to him and the bad boys that turned into good boys have the ability to give a new appearance to their family thank you children see you in the next class